。十月十二号，联合国驻黎巴嫩临时部队发言人泰嫩蒂表示，以色列军队近期多次袭击联立部队，导致维和人员受伤，联立部队营地也遭到严重破坏。他警告称。以军和黎巴嫩真主党的冲突或将升级为灾难性的地区冲突，呼吁相关各方和国际社会对此予以高度关注。So because there are a lot of damages even inside the 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 bases. Just last night, the position of the Ghanaian peacekeepers was just outside, but the blast was so strong that destroyed some of the containers inside very badly. Plus, they are in bunkers. The conflict right now between Hezbollah and Israel is not only a conflict between the two countries. This is really turning very soon into a regional conflict with catastrophic impact for for everyone. So the responsibility is with everyone, definitely with the parties, but also with the international community. Tayden Di 还表示，以军要求联立部队从部分蓝线附近营地撤离，但联立部队决定坚守在原处，遵守联合国决议，发挥联立部队的作用。他同时强调，目前仍有沟通空间，希望黎以双方通过和平方式解决问题。The IDF, the Israeli forces, have asked us when they asked to remove from the positions along the blue line, is that these positions are very much or on the blue line or up to five kilometers from the blue line. So that's the distance of our more or less 29 positions that we have. But as I said, there was a decision, unanimous decision, to stay. We still believe that there is a space for negotiations. There is still space. For a solution, so the, the the channel of communication is still open with the parties. So we are do do discuss on a regular basis、uh, with both sides and to try to de-escalate, but also to warn them that attacking peacekeepers, it's not only a, a violation of Resolution 1701, but it's also a, 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 a severe violation of international humanitarian law.